going on, y'all? Welcome to Woody Entertainment. Glad y'all made it here safely. So I'm here at Cleveland Animal Hospital here in Kings Mountain, North Carolina to get Brandy and Murphy's checkup and update their shots. So come along with me inside the vet and let's see how they do. Stay tuned. Yeah, do, do I need a boat? Brandine and Murphy at the same time? Or? We have one scheduled at 10.30 and one scheduled at 11. So who do you have with you now? Well. Oh, you have both of them. Okay, that's fine. Then, <laughs> then yeah. I can leave one in the truck and then no, no, go no, no, to no, no, no. That's fine. I thought you were saying you did not bring them back with you. Oh, I did. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you're totally fine. And have, um. They've been have registered seen? online, the uh, welcome form. You did that online? Yeah, that's online. Okay. And did you bring any of Murphy's uh, medical records? I did. Okay, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You. you having a good day? Yes, sir. How about you? Good. Good. All right. Give me just a minute to get everything ready for Murphy, and then we'll be back then. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, wow. You crazy lady. Oh, my goodness gracious. We got a beautiful face. You're a pretty hound dog. And look at those pretty white chompers. And now. Oh, goodness. It's a good thing we have masks on. I think we'd all be wearing kisses home today if we did. <laughs> Never. I know. Yeah, sweet she's, a lot, she's a wild one. Murphy's a lot calmer. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, I bet. Well, that's okay. See? Well, it's good in the woods, though, to have all that energy. So, exactly. Oh, hey. Exactly what I'm getting ready to say. You need to have the energy out there running around. Yeah. Well, she got just a touch of wax on her breathing. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. We got one more to go. So yeah. we're gonna swap out. Swap out and get Murphy. Sorry, I'll work a few things together with Miss Murphy. Uh, and uh, by all means, uh, we'll meet you back in a few minutes, okay? All right, sounds good. Thank right, you. Friend, absolutely. Are you going to do the same thing for Murphy? Yeah, same all thing right. with Murphy. You're a wild lady. Right. She's a wild child. Absolutely. But it's all right. It's a good thing. Come on, Brandy. Good girl. Come on. All right, get in there, get in there. Good girl, good girl. All right, Murphy's turn. Come on, Murphy. Hey, big man, yeah, that's the camera. That's the camera, big man. Good boy. All right, so we got Murphy. All right, let's go. All right, Dad. Oh, I see the difference. You see the difference, Dad? I see the difference. Hey, buddy. Murphy. Hey, big Murphy. Oh, goodness. Look at this, buddy. Look at this big old hound dog. You're a handsome boy. You sure are. Yeah, see the difference. Real calm, man. You sure can. Is it Miss Brandine? Does she keep you going? Huh? Yes. I bet. Mm -hmm. she, she's the one on Red Bull, and he's the one who's just kind of taking it easy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, nothing against Miss Brandine by, me, <clears throat> by any means, but Murphy's my kind of guy. You're I got a guy. soft spot for Gascon Blues, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, not only is he a handsome fella, uh, but of course, uh, you know, his personality is just awesome. It is. Hey, big floppy ears. Hey, buddy boy. And of course, he's been eating well, drinking well, just loving life, huh? Yeah. Nice. Absolutely. Well, let's, let's see those big chompers. Ooh, you're getting big chompers too. And of course, sparkling pretty white. Oh, what a good boy. Mm -hmm. What a good boy you are. Well, tell me, Daddy, <clears throat> since this is the first time we've seen him, uh, has Mr. Murphy had any distemper parvo vaccines in the past? Well, the paperwork that my the breeder gave me uh -huh. when he was, you know, Eight weeks old and stuff. I don't see none of that in there. Okay. So he needs to get that. Yeah, I 100% agree. And here's the thing, <clears throat> uh, especially with uh, all these uh, puppies are being exposed to running around crazy in the woods, uh, getting out there and having a good time, uh, the potential for infectious disease is definitely out there. Absolutely. Plus, and the fact that, you know, unfortunately, even things like parvo uh, are, are just so commonplace. All it takes is a stray dog passing by. Uh, parvo is very easily spread through the environment, through stool uh, uh, exposure. Uh, and for babies, me personally, uh, I, t I recommend at least three distemper parvo vaccines. Uh, and typically, ideally, it would be best to do those on three week intervals. Uh, and so what we would do is basically call this uh, his first distemper parvo, to see him back in three weeks for number two, see him back in three weeks for number three. Okay. And that way, we kind of run him through that entire puppy series. Especially as handsome as he is, uh, then uh, you know I would hate to have to run the risk of actually having a parvo exposure. Uh, parvo, unfortunately, is a potential potentially fatal virus uh, that attacks the intestinal system. And so, uh, like I said, especially since it's out there in the environment, it's all over the place, uh, just uh, vaccines are just cheap protection against that. Absolutely. There's another thing that uh, is a little bit of a concern as well too specifically for you and, and these fellow, uh, these puppies uh, is the fact that uh, uh, our vaccines contain a component known as leptospira uh, which is actually a bacteria transmitted through the urine of small mammals uh, and so if he's out there running around wild in the woods having a good time uh, all it takes is for him to have that urine exposure from that small mammal ingest that urine uh, then of course he could ingest that bacteria uh, leptospira has a strong uh, affinity for the liver for the kidneys it can cause those organs to go into failure. Uh, and so again, uh, vaccinations, cheap protection against that so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, you know, lepto is, a lot of people forget that it is out there. It's, it's uh, every dog's potentially exposed to it, but right. because of the nature that these are working dogs and the, 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 uh, the, you know, the way they conduct their lifestyle, right. their exposure level is so much higher to lepto uh, than the little Maltese who sits on the couch and watches daytime soap opera. <laughs> right, uh, right. So I, you know, I definitely make sure we get the vaccinations in there for them. Absolutely. Do that. So, 100% on board. You got it. Let me listen to this ticker. I bet his doesn't quite move as fast as Miss Brandine's did. Yeah. Let's listen. Oh, you sound like a bass drum down in there. 
Boom. Boom. You sound good, buddy boy. Murphy. Yeah, she's wide open, man. Yeah. And let me listen right here. You sound good on the top end. I know. And while he's rolled over and has uh, <laughs> his belly all exposed to me, one thing I will say is I, I will say is I did see a flea kind of scooting across him. Uh, right. So again, making sure we stay on good flea and tick prevention. Matter of fact, he's right. got yeah, th three yeah. fleas there already. So right. good flea and tick prevention is always go a good long way. So we can make sure we keep right. that going for sure. But good deal. Again, while we got the front end, uh, we'll just kind of follow the same pattern that we did with Miss Brandine. We'll do this old uh, Bordetella vaccine right. just right down there in the cheek. Portella, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like that much as he says he did, did you, buddy boy? Well, well, crazy I, enough. He's the food driven one. He'll do it? anything for food, yeah. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm with him. I kind of understand. I'm kind of the same. Are we, are we all, huh? all right, my friend. We're going to do the front part of the vaccine on the left side. All right, just step the front. Oh, 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 you just going to lay down for it? Yeah. I think oh, he's a good. sucker for a belly rub, isn't he? Oh, yes, he is. I love it. Just good like boy. that. Good boy, Murphy. Yeah, yeah, for me. What a good fella you are. You're a good fella for sure. I believe I might have to just keep you. You can stay with me. <laughs> what do you think? And of course, uh, while we got that big shoulder blade pointing to us, then we'll go with this old microchip injection. Uh, microchip. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And what a tough man. He took that like a champ. Oh, yeah. Just double check, make sure everything's good. Nice. There it goes. And while we're working around, we're gonna spin around and feel that big tummy. Hi, oh, boy. what a big old squishy tummy. That tummy feels good. Yeah. Yes, sir. Always gotta count to two when you're a young man. There you go. Uh huh. What a good fella. Uh-huh, that back leg still works, doesn't it? Let's feel this back leg. Yeah, he's going to be a big dog. It's that Gascon, they get big, and his daddy was 110 pounds. Right. Yeah, and oh. his mom was 105. You're going to be a beast of a boy, aren't you? Yeah. Beast of a boy. I wonder how much he weighs now. Well, we're going to check and make for sure. Uh, when we get him all finished up, Miss Sarah will run him up to the scale, and that way we can yes, not sir. only have it for our records, but get it on his rabies certificate. And this is the rabies vaccine right there. Good boy. Oh, just boy. like that. He's Murphy. Heck yeah. Good job, Murphy man. Good job, buddy. Murphy. Murphy. Well, like I said, uh, beautiful puppies. Thank you. Beautiful puppies, for sure. Uh, but if you give Miss Sarah two seconds, like I said, she'll uh, run him up to the scale. We'll get that weight on him. You're welcome to go if you'd like. Uh, and I'll be working on getting some things in the computer. Uh, and uh, obviously, just let me know how these babies are doing. Uh, as far as uh, Miss Brandine, I saw that we've given her one distemper parvo vaccine already. Today would be number two. So I would do one more for her in three weeks. Uh, and of course, if you want to coincide their dates uh, and bring them both together at the same point in time, right. definitely welcome to. Right. Uh, but uh, this is other than that, man, they're good looking dogs. Thank they you. really are, for sure. But give me two seconds, I'll work on some paperwork, uh, and Miss Sarah will get you home for a good weekend, okay? All right, All right. thank you so much. Absolutely, Mr. Good Absolutely. Y'all try to have the best weekend you possibly can, okay? Oh, we are. <laughs> Just go see how big you are. He's a monster, no doubt. <laughs> He's a big boy. Um, come on, bud. Right here. Come on, Murphy. Murphy. Just one second. There he goes. Come on, Murphy. Come on, bud. Can you get up here? Good. Oh, good boy. All right. 49. Well, you gotta hold on. Hold on, big man. Hold on, big man. Get you on that scale. All right. Look like 47. 47.6. All right, y'all can head back in that room right there and I'll get everything together for you and we'll be right back. All right, now. thank you. Come on, bud. All right, before I close this video out, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to Cleveland Animal Hospital for allowing me to record uh, the vet visit for Brandy and Murphy. Thank y'all so much. The staff was great. The facility was nice and clean. Y'all took care of my hounds very well. And most of y'all don't know this, but that's the same uh, hospital and vet care I used when Cletus was alive. So like I said, they're a really great facility. I highly recommend it. Um, for production wise, guys, I know before y'all hit me up, there was parts where it's muffled 
is because I'm holding the GoPro and I'm, my finger was covering up one of the mics because there's three mics on the GoPro. My finger was covering up like two of them. So I tried to fill it in where it was muffled with captions so y'all understand what was going on. Uh, so I apologize for that. But I hope the uh, video quality is getting better. Uh, like I said, I'm just starting this YouTube thing. So through time, I promise it will get better and I will get used to holding the equipment right so y'all get the best performance as possible. But like I said, thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate y'all so much. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll catch y'all next time. See ya.